Kazi Nuzrul Islam is one of the most talented poet, writer, novelist, composer, musician, and journalist of undivided Bengal. He is popularly known as a rebel poet in Bengali literature and the Bulbul or Nightingale of Bengali music. Nozrul's nickname was Dukumia, a name that aptly reflects the hardship and misery of his life. He was born on May 24, 1899 in Churulia village of Bardiwan district in West Bengal. His mother was Zahida Khatun and his father, Kazi Fokir Ahmed, was the imam and caretaker of the local mosque. Nozrul had two brothers, Kazi Shahib Chan and Kazi Ali Hussein, and also a sister, Ummi Kusum. He started his schooling by attending the local maktab and madrasa, where he studied the Quran and Islamic philosophy and theology. His family was devastated by the unexpected death of his father in 1908. At the young age of 10, Nozrul began working in his father's place, first as a caretaker and later as a muajjin to support his family. At this time, Nozrul joined a folk opera group called Lettu, run by his uncle Fazli Karim. There, he not only performed but also composed his own poems and songs. In 1910, he enrolled in class 6 at Shirsal High School in Ranigonj. Here, he came under the influence of some great teachers and activists. He also initiated a lifelong relationship with author Shoilo Janondo Mukhopadhyay and later he transferred to the Marthan High School. Here he studied under the headmaster and poet Kumod Ranjan Malik. Again, financial difficulties compelled him to leave school and join a group of Kaviyals. Later he took jobs as a cook at the House of Christian Railway Guard and at the most famous bakery of the region and also a tea stall in the town of Asansol. In 1914, Nozrul studied in the Durirampur High School in Trishal Moimunshing. In 1917, he joined the British Army at the age of 18. He raised his rank from Corporal to Havildar and served as quartermaster for his battalion. His role in freeing modern Bengali poetry is undoubtedly significant. Truly speaking, he is considered a pioneer of post-Tagore modernity in Bengali poetry. His poems, songs, novels, short stories, plays, and political activities express strong protests against oppression, slavery, communalism, feudalism, and colonialism, and forced the British government not only to ban many of his books, but also to put him in prison. In October 1921, Nozrul went to Shanti Nikaton with Dr. Muhammad Shahidullah and met Rabindranath Tagore. 
Despite many differences, Nazrul looked up to Tagore as a mentor and the two remained in close association. In 1922, Nazrul reached the peak of fame with the publication of Bidrohi, which remains the most famous work winning admiration of all Indian literary classes. On April 25, 1924, Kazi Nuzrul Islam married Pramila Devi and settled in Hooghly. They had four children, Krishna Muhammad, Bulbul, Shabboshachi, and Oniruddu. He lost his mother in 1928 and also his second son the following year. Between 1928 and 1935, he published 10 volumes containing 800 songs. From the time he returned to Kolkata until he fell ill in 1941, he composed over 2,600 songs. In 1939, his wife Pramila Devi became seriously ill and was paralyzed from waist down. In order to provide for treatment, he sold his gramophone records and literary works for just 400 rupees. Nozrul was also shaken by the death of Rabindranath Tagore in 1941. On June 30, 1962, his beloved wife Pramila Devi died and Nozrul remained in intensive medical care. In 1974, his youngest son, Onuruto, died. His deteriorating health conditions led to his death on August 29, 1976. As per his wish, he was buried next to the Dhaka University Mosque. Kabardiyo bhai